VFX bro here on the shoot, uh, Final King's latest fruit ninja video. We're gonna be running through some tutorials and behind the scenes, but first, some real fruit cutting. Bah! And uh, we kind of got it started off by doing some visual effects with some green screening. Now for all of you who are following along, we're gonna be providing a free Action Essentials of Fruit link at the bottom. So go ahead and give it a try, follow along the tutorial, and post a video to our Facebook. Now the effect that you see in the video is pre-keyed elements. Basically it's the Action Essentials of Fruit. We took a bunch of shots of fruit going up and, and being sliced and falling down over green screen and we comp that into a backplate of Zach just chopping through air. Okay, so in this tutorial we're gonna be going through two basic effects. The first one will be the compositing of the fruit as it flies up and gets shot by Zach and then we'll be working on the streaks that we added into the knife cuts. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in two shots here. The first one we've got is um, the melon breaking. So what we did was we just had a nice tripod shot of Zach throwing up some watermelon and uh, as he did he threw up watermelon that had already been chopped and just by it was just by chance that the watermelon happened to split apart when it got up there so it takes a little bit of trial and error but that was a basic effect we shot it behind a blue screen obviously because there's green in the watermelon and uh, wanted to make it easier to key out the next shot we did was um, just the watermelon flying up unbroken so very simple Zach just tossed the watermelon up and uh, came back down so the first thing we're going to do is key out this first watermelon shot. We're going to move very quickly here. We're going to go to our effects workspace. We're going to open up key light and just drag that on top of our layer here. And now we're going to select our blue color here and uh, key out as much of it as we can. We're going to bring up our gain here and as the watermelon goes up it is being keyed out very nicely. So that's a pretty simple shot. Uh, let's go ahead and add a mask. So we're going to hit G and um, add a mask. Actually, we're gonna make it very close to the watermelon since we know where the watermelon goes. Um, there's no need to give ourselves a ton of space. And uh, close that off there. And there we have it, a nice keyed out watermelon flying up. Um, so what we're gonna do is the, the shot's gonna start right about here when Zach's hand lets go. So we're gonna hit Alt right bracket to cut off the shot there and then we're going to go up to the top and then right when it splits which will be right about there we're going to hit alt right bracket so now the shot has been cut to that length we're going to go ahead and zoom in here on our timeline now remember all of this uh, footage will be given to you already keyed out so you won't have to deal with this but if any of you want to make your own uh, action essentials pack for some other sort of deal uh, then this would be the way to go um, so now for the shot, we're going to also add the key light to it, and we're going to highlight the blue here, and we've got some nasty shadows we can see there, but nothing that we can't deal with. We're going to solo, we're going to take off the bottom layer so that we only have the top, and uh, we can see it starts to cut across, cut, cut right about there. So that's where we're going to start our shot. We're going to hit Alt, right bracket, start our shot there, and then once it breaks across and comes down, we're going to stop it right about there. So Alt right bracket and then um, so it splits across comes there that's good um, what we're gonna do is add a moving mask as we can see it goes out of frame a little bit right there so let's go ahead and add a mask around um, our first piece hit G select it right there and uh, we're gonna hit P or sorry we're gonna hit M and then we're gonna add a keyframe to that mask path so let's just go ahead and follow it we can see it goes down out of frame let's select our mask here and just follow it. Right there, go back up and key and continue to follow it. Stays in frame fairly well and till right about there is our last frame. So that's good for the for, for the right one. We're going to go ahead and add in a, another mask by hitting G and make another mask for the second piece right here. And uh, we're going to keyframe that by hitting M, selecting a keyframe, and now we can uh, move this guy around with our second piece of melon. And let's kind of adjust this a little bit here. All right. And here we're going to want to get kind of detailed because we can see it runs off screen. So we're going to zoom in a little bit and uh, 
keep that part keyed out. Very simple stuff here. Basic rotoscoping. And uh, let's go to the end, last shots. So they don't have to keep everything in between. And that looks good. So let's follow it up. Oh, we can see it gets a little bit off track here. We're going to bring up our mask. And there we have it. So the melon shot comes up and falls down. Very nice. So what we're going to do now, we have our two separate layers. Uh, we're going to look at them both together and uh, see what we get. We have this shot coming up. And then we can see that the melon that we shot second is actually quite a bit smaller um, in frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of we're going to uh, bring the size of that melon up so that it matches that of the first one. So let's shrink this a little bit here, and that looks pretty good right about there. And so now what we can do is we want it to break right about there so that it comes up and goes out of frame, and it cuts off there. So that's a good spot is right there. So we're going to take our bottom shot, hit Alt, Right, uh, Bracket, and then there we have it. It's going up, coming out of frame, and falling. And what we're going to do is take both these layers and actually bring them down in the position so that when the top melon falls, it's out of frame. All right, so now we have our melon rendered out plops up, gets cut in half, and then falls to the ground. Our next shot is the knife streak, so we're going to go ahead and move on to that shot. Okay, so we're going to start in the streak portion of the tutorial where we show the uh, red streak that swings through as the camera, as Zach swipes the sword. So if we zoom in here, we've got the shot swinging across the top. And so what we're going to do here is make a new solid, so hit Command Y. And we're going to make the solid a lightish red, right about there. Hit enter, and then we're going to hit Command Shift C to pre-compose this. And we can call this the streak. And we're actually going to call this the the four streak because we're going to make it the streak last for four frames. So hit enter, and then we're going to go into our settings here. We've got this guy, and we're going to zoom out here so we can see a little better. We're going to make a mask. So hit G and make a mask about this size and uh, go and go to your first frame hit M, hit mask path, hit V and then move this off the edge here okay so we've got this guy right here on the edge and we're going to go ahead and go forward about 10 frames or so and uh, grab this guy here select the mask and we're going to grab this and just drag it all the way across the screen and now what we want to do is make sure that at four frames that um, it is on its last, it, the, the right end is touching the edge of frame. So right about there looks good. And so this is going to be about a four frame um, streak. So now we're going to do is hit M twice. We're going to feather this out a little bit. Give it a nice feather. There we go. And we're going to hit Command D so we can copy it. And we're going to make this one a nice dark red. So right about there looks good. Hit enter. And then we're going to put this guy further behind so, so that it follows the other guy. So we've got that nice, that nice run through there. If we take a look here as this flies through and Zach swings, looks good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and reverse this, so the easiest way that I like to do it um, is just to hit W, make it 3D, hit W, and then we're going to flip it around, hit Shift, hold Shift to make sure that it snaps at 180 degrees. And so now that glides through um, as Zach swings. And so before, if you're doing a bunch of different streaks, the way you're going to do is you're just going to copy this. Hit Alt, so when it stops right there, hit hold off and then the right bracket so that it stops there so that it disappears after that. And then you have it, you have it here in your timeline. And um, what you can do is just copy this position. So let's say I were going to do another swipe right here. This swipe right here, I'm, what I would do is I would hit Command D and just drag it over to there so that I'd have a swipe um, 
wherever wherever he was going. I'm going to show cut to a screenshot here of uh, what my composition looked like when I had and I had the whole thing set up for the shot. Um, so we're but basically, yeah, you're just going to be copying this over and over again. So uh, back to our original shot here. It's very simple. Uh, we just want to make sure that it's sliding at the same speed as his hand, and that looks pretty good right there. And now we're just going to copy the uh, motion of the of the knife by hitting G, and we're going to make a mask. Uh, we're going to do a four-point mask, and for the first time, just to kind of estimate where you think um, the knife slides. And if we go through this, we can see that we had it quite a bit off. Uh, so that's no problem. We're going to select this, bring it up to the final point, go back to, and bring this up right there. And now we've got it sliding through. And there you go. There you have it. Um, that is the basic setup of it. Now what we're going to do for the outside is we're going to hit Command D, kind of copy this. We're going to take the bottom layer. So let's go Curves, drag this guy in here, and we're going to make it a lot darker. And uh, we're going to go to our red, and we're going to bump that up as well. So now we have this bottom layer, which is very red and dark. And then this top layer, which is a lot brighter. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a top level, we're going to hit M twice, and we're going to make the mass expansion. We're going to bring it down to about negative 16. So we've got that nice edge on the outline. And then we're going to feather it out to about 3. Um, so that looks good. And let's go ahead and roll through it. Through looks pretty nice. Um, it actually might be a little bit too far ahead, so we can grab both of them and move them back a frame or two. And that way it's a little bit more lined up maybe even one more so that it's following the knife perfectly that looks good right there we can see it kind of fades out after he slices um, so we've got that going on for us now what we're going to do is we're actually going to change this to a um, guide layer um, and uh, we're going to go layer new adjustment layer and this obviously won't apply to all shots but for this particular shot what we did was we um, made the edges darker so it looked like the streaks were actually there because you can see that the lighting would suggest that it's darker on the edges so let's bring down the brightness on the edges there and we're gonna go to our circle tool double click so we've got a nice circle of lips there and what we're gonna do is select this bottom we're gonna bring that out to about there we're gonna select all these guys and bring them down as well and we're gonna bring this up a little bit so we've got a nice edge we're going to change this to subtract. So now we've got kind of a vignette. And we're going to feather it to about 100. And then we're going to expand it so that it actually reaches our, our streak. So you can see that it's got a nice edge on the outside. And then any streaks that you put anywhere in the shot will be affected by what appears to be um, the, the lighting in our original scene. And then after that, if we bring in this shot, um, into a new composition, um, we can see that our bottom layer has been uh, deleted because we made it into a guide later, so the adjustment layer wouldn't affect it. And we're going to hit Command C, we're going to hit Command V, we're going to bring it underneath, and we're going to turn the guide layer off. So now our streak is made, affected by what looks like realistic lighting, and we can even add, use an add mode to uh, add it into our scene. So there we have it. Nice streak filter running across.